All right. Good evening, all. Good evening, all. We are back into Baldur's Gate 3. We're on Reina. And I uh, was able to get into that particular save game. And uh, we're rocking and rolling on her tonight. So we're going to go ahead and adjust the music down because if I play the music in the game, I get copyright claims. So best way for me to avoid the copyright claims and stuff with these companies that are totally fake is not to have the music up loud enough to where YouTube can actually hear it and pick it up. So it's unfortunate because the soundtracks are really nice and they're done very, very well. So, but welcome in on this Saturday night. Appreciate everybody being here. And uh, we're going to get going. We're going to check our quest log and see where we're at. So the pale elf, we're going to go ahead and do his quest tonight. And see how far we can get into that. Then if we don't get far enough we to complete it, we'll come work on it next Saturday. So like I said, uh, hate to lose all the progress I made. Uh, there was quite a few of us that worked on trying to, trying to get back into our save games. And I did a video on that. So if you go over to my YouTube channel at Mariana Zone, uh, it's the title's pretty plain and obvious and I've also uploaded that video to twitch So hopefully people that are having issues with their game uh, Not getting into it and being able to play it uh, can watch that video and uh, Get back into the save games and like I said, I give Shout outs to the people that did that helped fix that one of them is my friend Mona go visit her at uh, Mona, M-O-O-N-A, underscore T-T-V. Let me uh, see if I can do this. And another person is And another person is that actually came up with a good portion of the process and everything and I give credit to him pretty much 100% is uh Melin12137 at Nexus Mods. M E L I N 12137. He came up with the process and I just put my voice to it. So. And uh, yeah. yeah. And did a. I did a 45 minute video on it. I'm not taking any credit for this whatsoever. I'm just the voice. And he. Me and Mona pretty much did the hard work and I just put the voice to it. So Melin12137 and Mona underscore TTV. M-O-O-N-A underscore TTV. So and that's again Melin M-E-L-I-N 12137 over at Nexus Mods. Um awesome job, bro. You know, good job, Mona. Thank you so much for the help and stuff also. So let's get the show on the road. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. I know I am. I am just glad to be back into, right, Reina? I'm just glad to be back playing Reina and, and finishing up this uh, act. So tonight we've got Reyna, Shadowheart, Menthera, and Asterion, because we're going to go do his quest tonight in the Vampire's Lair. Ooh. So. Check on a couple things here real quick.
All right. And I think we're uh I think we're uh, just about ready to go. Let's go do our uh no. No, that's not it. Maybe that's it. So I think we took out Raphael. If I remember correctly. And we still got some side quests that we need to do here, so. Probably still an active quest. Um, oh, yeah, we still need to find the rest of his parts. Harper, we still gotta go visit nine nine fingers. All right. So I think we're good now. We're just trying to get caught up. And what oh, we need here, well, this is where we need to go. So real quick transport. Let's put our Let's put our animal speak on. Oh yeah. Central watchtower of the flaming fists. I don't remember. Well, we're going to do a little exploring. Sneak our way up here and see what we can do. Oh. I don't like the way this map's rotating. Try some kind of nuts. 
There we go. I can sneak in here. The security shouldn't be too tight. A few charmed innocents, maybe. Okay, yeah, we gotta go this way. And see how it goes. This is the palace of Kazador Zar. Entry is forbidden. Leave now, citizen. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She must be one of the charmed thralls Astarian mentioned. Right? Let's see. Number one, intimidation. Another word from you and, I'll, and you'll fly out of this tower. Number two, deception. I'm inspecting the security on your master's orders. Three, I'm here to kill Cazador. Number four, I'll go. We're going to go number two. Do that. Eleven to 14, 10. Yeah, we'll do 11 to 14. So pretty much all I need to get is like a or above and we should be good of course whatever the master desires enter freely and of your own will okay creepy very well you 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 one of them the fangy ones Good. Don't like when they change. Get big, hairy, mean. Make sure you stay away. Werewolves. <laughs> Another visitor? Staying long? The others are. I love this game. I really do. The animals have just as much of a personality as the characters do, and it's it's... It's just awesome. Guests came for a party. Never left, though. Hmm. Don't know what happened to them. Don't want to know. But I'm sure you're different. I'm sure you'll be fine. See, you can gather so much intel off of, off of creatures and stuff that... You know, kind of lets you know that you're stepping into a gigantic pile of poo. But me being the loot goblin I am, that's just water. Shield. Not a very good shield. Pretty shield, but not a very good shield. Yeah, I got a thing for shields. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take the booze, of course. Wits and blades always sharp. All right. Yes. 
She got her hammer out. Time to time to smash. Well, hello. Never a dull moment. Right, baby? Never a dull moment. Mm -hmm. With haste. This is awfully odd. We'll take the key. Let's go ahead and read this. See if Astarian can do this. Be useful. Be useful, Astarian. You're a rogue, so. I'll do a challenge. Oh, got a good 20 on it. We'll send that over to Reina. Shall we? Still in control, just barely, just barely. So, Astarian. Vampire dens. What should I expect? Vampires would be a safe bet. Ah, are the gods truly this petty? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Ah, isn't she so pretty? It's so good to be back on her. Next, I wonder. Must lug my guts through this hell. Hey, Rena, I have another feeling. Another feeling of time was girl. Jeez, you know. I know you conquered the dark urge and everything like that. And, and you're kind of kind of been redeemed, you know? Still. Alrighty, so. Huggy time. Right before a battle. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? All right. Of course. I thought you'd never ask. There we go. Final kiss before battle. Oh boy. All right, youngsters, close your eyes. Wow, they really did fix that. Good job, Larian, on that, man. Home, at last. 
Thank you for being by my side through all of this. I never realized I could have a true family or a true love. So even Ventura is smiling and she's like the grump of them all. See, even she's got like a little grin across her face. That's so cool. Nice. So I get asked on occasion, why do I like Baldur's Gate 3 so much? Um, just setting the story aside and everything. the graphics and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of portions of this game that I can really relate to. Um, that the game has actually helped me to get over in life. Like some lingering childhood stuff and, uh, you know... Uh, stuff that has to deal with the ex-wives and stuff like that. So it, it's it's you know I think this particular game has helped a lot of people with um, issues. They see them they see a lot of themselves in the characters in the game. I know I do. Um. So. That's kind of one of the reasons why I continue to play it. Every time I make a new character or do a new run through on a different type of class or something like that, the game just gets better. It just, there's always something new that I find in every run through. Sometimes it's in Act One, sometimes it's in Act Two, sometimes it's in Act Three. But it's something new. And um, I. Salute Larian Studios on that. Thank you. And I think they put a lot of heart and soul into the game. And I can relate to, to, to some of the characters. You know. It's just it's just good. And I think that's one of the reasons why the game has done so well, even a year later. All right, let's 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 move on in Austerians. That's suspiciously welcoming. Story. See, I've only gone through this once with Asterian in the party. Different character. Hate swamps. The place reeks. Probably full of bloodsuckers as well. Shadowheart, you wound me. So this is it. I'm home. There's the same fading carpet. The same tasteless art. Nothing's changed. The gods. Everything feels different. All right. What's it like being back? Two, are the servants charmed like the guards in the tower? So what's the plan for number three? Are you sure about this? You don't have to face him. Number five, I need to ask you something else. Mm. It does feel strange. Breaking into your own home. Especially if murder's on your mind. Mm. Then again, this is hardly the strangest thing we've done together. Although it could be the most satisfying. Let's see. Uh, are the servants charmed like the guards in the tower? All right, I think we can just... I think we can just work our way top to bottom on this list. Oh no, it's much worse than that. Ooh. They're fanatics. Here of their own free will and utterly devoted to Cazador. Each one came to our door and begged to be given his eternal gift. They're sure he'll turn them if they serve him well enough. He'd almost feel sorry for the poor, deluded souls. But they're idiots who brought 
brought this upon themselves, so don't. Alrighty, so what is our plan, buddy? If my dear siblings were right, Cazador's hiding somewhere below the palace. After so many years, I would have spotted any secret tunnels out here. The only place that was off limits to us was his study. If the entrance is anywhere, it'll be there, through the ballroom. Gotcha. All right, of course he's sure about it, but we gotta ask. Oh, I've never been less sure of anything. But if I don't face him now, I never will. I'll spend the rest of my life running, watching the shadows, never feeling safe. No, this has to happen here and now. Exactly. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. So that'll be nice. All right, let's see what this option does. Then ask. Quickly. All right, we're done with that. Oh, where are you going, Raina? Wrong way, baby. All right, let's talk to her. The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. Sinister painting. Let's go take a look at that. Okay. That's kind of weird looking, but all right. It's a vampire's den. So. I need my caster that's got knock. door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. All right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, that's a tough roll. All right, we got that. Got that. All right, it's not going to give us much. I have to roll a perfect. Hmm. So I'd have to get at least a 19. We'll try one more time. Yeah, that kind of sucked. What? Difficulty class, I need 25. Woo, got it, got it. It's written in archaic Kosakuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. There are inscriptions like this all over the palace. Casador strictly forbade us from learning the language. You can make out enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. You can tell you're missing something, though. You spot a reference to the family signet. A ring. That was an easy roll. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. 
Yep, I was right on that one. All right. Let's do a quick save on that. We'll explore everything upstairs first. <laughs> think we stand out at all you know oh let's see how the robe looks it as much as the paladin armor Let's see what this says too where is this ah Confirmed. We need the uh, dictionary. Send that to uh, Asterion since his inventory is not full yet. False wall, I think. Yep. <laughs> the hell happened here somebody's cooked werewolf burned it up from the inside its throat and innards are more liquid than solid wow oh send that to gale and we'll take the gold Just kind of exploring and oh, mm. we're exploring, see what's going on, and um. Pick that up. 
Very interesting. What is he doing in here? Well, we'll just... Wonder if we can talk to him. Use our uh, talk with the afterlife people. Guess not. It's on stairs. Tonight we shall see his true form. Tonight we're gonna blast him. That door is saturated with necrotic magic. Best keep my distance. I think we need to go in there, though. <clears throat> It is the kennel, a fetid little cell he throws into when displeased. Bless us, Master. May we be worthy of you. Uh oh. I smell a trap. There he is. Let's talk to the old goat. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? A new friend for Godi. Oh, damn. I think not. You know, my money's on Reyna, you know? I mean, she's fit. She's strong. She's wearing the paladin armor. You know, you got some wings that could probably pick them up and throw them across the room. So, yeah, you know, number one, deception. Hazardor hired me to capture Sterian. I'm here to deliver. Two, intimidation. Lay a hand on me and lose it. Number two. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, we need to roll just a two. We got a 32. Nice. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Goody? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to kill Casador. How dare you? As if you could lay a finger on the master, you ungrateful little brat. Goaty will not let you get away with blasphemy. Goaty will see you punished. All right, action stations all. Mm, let me clean up this mess here first. Yeah. Ooh, offhand attack. Oh yeah, we're 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 gonna. Give this guy a beat down. So much to do. So much to prepare. Must have not been worth the stupid spawn. Or the fresh meat. But not for not here. Tonight. Tonight he ascends. Tonight we shall see his true form. Yeah, good luck with that. We're not going to let that happen. Uh, can't reach target. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, nice hits, buddy. Nice hits. Of course he misses. Sir, you're up, baby. To do so much to prepare. <clears throat> All right. Let's do backbreaker on this bastard. I saw him go splat over here. All right, well, um, as long as we get the item we need. It's gotta be immaculate. There's the ring, there's the key. The engravings on the ring match the language on that strange door. I still can't read it though. So we got the dude's ring. So that's part of it. Then the other part. <laughs> it is we need to uh so much to do. So much to prepare. Is to uh find a book, I believe. Yelp. Ooh. Best be on my way. Tonight he ascends. Tonight we shall see his true form. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Stop. No more sweet. No more rat. Dormitory wing. Let's see if there's uh So 
we got the ring that we need. Now we just need to get the dictionary. The dormitory. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. Send that to Gale. Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? I didn't steal anything. I'm innocent. Nice roll, nice roll. You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Right? Must not be All right. <laughs> Let's check Seems this. Let's see what's in this stuff. More clothing, useless clothing. Wolves will not obey. Be their alpha. Make them here. What's hiding here? Stupid. We can give that maybe give that to Shadow Heart. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Of course. I uh, see. Oh, you can't give her like any more flowers or anything like that. That kind of sucks. But I mean, I guess Your really don't need to because I think we're maxed out on her rapport. Yep. Fresh orders. She's pretty high up there too. He's probably neutral. Yep. So I think we got to go back up. And I think we have to go into that room that's got the necrotic, necrotic energy all through it.
woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's got to be right for the master. Everything's got to be perfect. How many die today? So How many tired. die tomorrow? It'll be over soon. It'll All right. Be <laughs> soon. All right. So we've been here for almost an hour. And it is break time, so everybody get up, stretch, relax, get yourself some water, get yourself another beverage, some snacks, and we will be right back. All right, we are back. Hope everybody had a chance to stretch, get some get some water, get a snack or something like that. And uh, let's see if we get into this room here. Okay, let's see if I got something that I can put on. Mm. I'm not really too, too concerned about it. All 
Alright, here we go. Maybe uh next? Shadowheart girl can add some bonus to her. Of course I set her up as DPS, so Hey Josh, welcome in man, how you doing? Hey, I got my I got that uh neck thing today. Oh man, what what a difference. I already can see a difference. How'd your streaming go today? Thanks for coming in, dude. I mean, yeah, so my issue uh, is being able to do this, ear to the shoulder, and then uh, other way. So what I did is watch uh, a, a little YouTube video about that, about the neck thing, and just for like five minutes, you know, do that, then go do your thing, and then after you do your thing with the neck, you know nice man good to hear that your numbers are doing good welcome in welcome in all but yeah you do this thing and, and then kind of a little stretch afterwards and stuff you know do that and it uh, works pretty darn good so just what I do is I do the exercise and then um, just do do small stretches afterwards so you know Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Twitch is just kind of backed up and stuff. I really don't know what goes on a lot of the times with this. A lot of the times people just show up late. Oh, okay. So look down and kind of do, oh, I feel that. But yeah, that, that, that I probably would not have been able to do earlier today. So, yeah, thanks for the tip on that, man. It's, it's just awesome. My head rotation is, is further, you know, nice and slow. Just take the time, you know, hey, welcome in, buddy. Thanks for dropping by, but yeah. So just, oh, big time. So I pretty much, I'm, I'm an IT guy, so I'm in front of the monitor all day anyway, and it um, posture and everything like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, probably me. I could probably use some help with my back too. Like I said, you know, we we IT guys sit all day and are kind of like this, you know. So it's gotta be immaculate. definitely our muscles get tweaked. Hey, hey, welcome, Ed Vodka. But no, definitely. Thanks for the advice. I'm gonna do this one. And then slowly do that like I'm gonna like you said smell my armpit but yeah definitely like oh nice yeah man if you need any advice on computers and stuff uh, hit me up you know you're you're your, your little tip on that little gizmo thing for the neck was awesome, so... 
I mean, I'm standing out in the middle of my driveway, you know, doing this and changing it and doing this. And my neighbors are all looking at me funny. And I'm like, you need to get one of these guys. So, oh, brand new back into PC gaming, switching to OBS tomorrow, capture cards hooked up. Oh, what, P what type of PC you got? I guess, I guess the most important thing is, oh yeah, it, 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 it does, it does that. Um, yeah, let me go get it. Hold on. Yeah, so for the people that are wondering what Josh and I are talking about, we're talking about this thing here. See if I can get it just right. Yeah, so this goes around your neck. These things swivel. So you can, you've got the up and down motion on your neck and then you can move them like this and then you can, uh, kind of go back and forth on the muscles too. So you can pretty much customize the roller on it. So let me show you guys. So kind of like, so. So you got that. And then you've got the straight like this, which you can do on the sides up and down like so. That feels really good. So. Yeah, it's all for like, about, it's all for like about what? $9 or something like that. It's, it's, I would say for people that sit for a very long time, definitely get one of these. These, this is awesome. So yeah, this, the roll teats all the way around. It's really cool. Let's see. Couldn't tell you, friend. Couldn't tell you. Friend built it for me. Plays everything I wanted. It's nice. Show the community. Yeah, the, the thing definitely hurts at first because your muscles are all bound up and and uh, tight. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey man, you have a great night too. Thanks for the suggestion, you know. Love it. Does an awesome job. So yeah, uh, everybody go check out uh, Gosh Josh Games. Gonna do. Oh, all right. Go ahead, sit down. Yeah, everybody go check out Josh Gosh Gosh Josh Games. So he does rehab for people. So he's got a lot of good suggestions. So I'm gonna give him a shout out here.
there there we go so yeah everybody go check out his channel you know go go visit gosh josh games uh and um go on amazon and get one of these bad boys for your neck especially for the people that, that sit all day and stuff like that it, it, it's awesome and, and you know and, and you know what i'm going even going to do this Can't to stay all right go check that out go check josh out he's a good dude so yeah man i have to say thank you definitely has helped i got more neck rotation i can actually do this now almost ear to shoulder because of that and like you said good exercise is head down and like you're Looking down on the carpet and smelling your armpit. Stretch those neck muscles out. It will help you get neck rotation and help to loosen that up. All right, let's do a save. Time to rest. All right, here we go. For the same week, there's necrotic magic at work here. So we got to go Not loot her. Cleaning. Cleaning. We'll grab that. We'll get the way. heck out of this nasty stuff. The green goo. Let's see what this says. Gotta go find that book. I say green book, whatever the the dictionary. There it is. We'll pick that up. What's inside? All right, come on, Raina, get out of there, girl. You're taking some damage. Mrs. Falcon, you'll see it. Master sees everything. Oh, well, welcome in, all welcome in. All right, so let's read this book. Let's see what we got to do here. Move all this up.
And send this to Starion. Book is an ancient dictionary of the language. I've seen it. Inscribed on the Tsar's signet ring, I think. We get along quite well, I think. We have everything we need to open the ballroom door. So let's not waste time talking. Cazador's hiding somewhere behind that door, and I'm going to find him. Right on, man. Let's do this. Bring our party back together. Yeah, she doesn't need a shower yet. Everything must be perfect. Oh yeah, definitely feels better. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. All right, let's see. Press the ring against the hollow and read the door's inscription. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. Oh. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. The runaway spawn. You reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. We bring you to him. We get his favor. <laughs> Oh boy. Tonight he ascends. Tonight we shall see his true form. We we got ourselves a big ass battle on our hands, boys. Oh boy. Go down very quick. What do we got? What do we got? We need some type of AOE. And Asterion don't have it. Focus fire. We got this. We got this. With finesse. All right, one down, only 30 more to go. Tonight he ascends. Tonight we shall see his true form. Under a smite. All right, hammer time. Damn right, the save failed on that one. 
Hey Pharaoh, how you doing, man? Welcome in, welcome in all. Lila <laughs> What you got left? All right, still got movement speed. All right. Give me big boom. Nice. You see the way that guy flew back? Again. Oh, one more time. Oh, yeah. Now you're in trouble, puppy dog. Nice. Nice hits. Nice hits. I'm just kind of angry tonight, you know? Really? Even the rats are attacking? Ooh! Oh, really? You, you picking on my girl? Alright. Game on. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> See? Don't mess with Shadow Heart. She get angry. She get upset. All right, what does she got? Oh, yeah. Sanctuary. I think she's out. Nope, nope. She's still got a couple of rounds left. Really, baby, you messed with that? All right, it is flying, so. Can't even catch my breath. Oh, really? Really? You you did that shit to me? All right, I have a little bit of electricity. Rain is back. One day, I'll catch a break. Oh, where's the dog? She's back! And she's angry. She's angry. She's an angry paladin. She's still kind of on the gray side there. <laughs> All right, we got left is just bats and rats. All right. He should be able to pick these things off. can't see that other one. There he is. I can do better. I must. Oh, party guest. Somebody snack. Cazador skulking somewhere beneath us. In this defiled chapel the others mentioned. We just have to find the entrance. Then he'll be mine. That's right. That's right, dude. Well, I was thinking first we find Cazador and then we kill Cazador. That's about it, really. We can workshop the details as we go. Alrighty. Works for me. Now we kind of made a mess out of this place. That's good. It's real good. Moving ahead.
Hey, Electronic Tully, how you doing, man? Welcome in. Yeah, give me a minute and we'll, uh... Nothing hurts anymore. There you go, buddy. No sweat off my back, so yeah. Anything to help peop people out, really, you know? No big deal for me. We'll just go ahead and loot, 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 and see what the stuff says, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, he definitely played a part, all right. Now let's look at the big doggy. Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. Have a look. Cheap music, flute, hand drum, violin. Anybody coming up behind us, you know? Oh, let's do an F5 here. She's queen. Take that. That's you know that's that's uh booze and stuff. Anything of use? I don't know, you tell me.
Where am I? All What's right. Going on? There we go. We're just going to see what we got going on here. We're in a kind of a secret place, I think. Always room for more. Garlic in a vampire lair. Okay. Garlic and a vampire lair. That's that's interesting. Another skeleton. I think there's a room over here that we can get to. there was to read this Some backstory there. Dimino, gold. I think we have to like I think there's a secret passage here There we go See, I knew there was. You just kind of have to move things around a bit, you know?
lot of cages. Oh, we got a ladder. That's a win. Let's see what else we can find. Heavy hitter up. Strike them down. <laughs> Quick march. Secret little area. Nothing here, really. Yeah, they gave Minthera more lines in, in this latest patch, too, which is kind of cool. For you. We renounced Ball. No, they won't. Probably still got a little bit of, you know, taint in her, but, you know, I mean, she's trying to overcome it. You know, she's. Swift as my feet can carry me. She's trying to be a good girl. You know, so, I mean. We explored this area. We got Asterion with us tonight. Yo, what's up, mister? How you doing, Mr. Payne? Painless Rancher, how's it going? Like the name. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Richard, welcome in, buddy. I think we go this way. Hmm. Here oh, we go. Office hall. All right, we're going to go into Casador's office here. See if we can find any info. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here we 
go. Hmm. Elevator, a dais. Oh, I am getting tired. You stand on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. All right, let's 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 go take a ride and see where this leads. So. Casador's dungeon. Way shrine discovered. Nice. Let's do an F5 for a save, just in case. I right, still have a few things, a few quests left to do. in the hills I never knew any of this was here I don't like it creepy very creepy and very weird yeah so sometimes Raina has a mind of her own she kind of will, will walk where she wants to walk Ominous yet austere. This place has its charms. <laughs> We're both learning a lot. Casador kept this place all to himself. I do not blame him. It is not the sort of place servants or spawn should sully with their presence. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can open this gate. Okay. Why well, do I have a funny feeling that we're walking into a defense system or something like that? Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. The 
ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Nice. Oh, secret area. This is kind of cool. Send that to camp. Send to Australia, and we'll take that. Oh, let's read the newspaper. Interesting. Yeah. All right, we're going to loot this place. Something good here, I hope. Let's see what this says. Let's, uh, let's read this. Thousands of names. This couldn't be part of the ritual, could it? Of course it is. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Hey, Ducky, how you doing, man? Well, what do you stream?
pack. There you go, man. Yeah. Hopefully that'll help you get some followers and stuff. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. All right, let's see if we can get this. I'm not worried. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Wow. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Wow, tough Valioth lesson. Valioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Valioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. All right. Even his precious rule. Okay, now we have to go talk to him here. This is all so grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Casador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. All right, let's move along. over here oh we're gonna do one better some of the stuff around got my tea bag button
Okay. So it would be to her left. Okay, that's our way out of here. All right, so. Welcome in, welcome in. Hey, let's give a shout out to uh, Marginal Donkey. That's kind of cool. Hey man, welcome in, welcome in all, thank you. Yep. I'm probably more home in the water than you now, Mistarian. <laughs> probably. Although I am 200 years out of practice, running water is no place for vampires. But uh, perhaps I'll join you for a dip. Once everything is done, then we could see who's best. Hey now. Stay away from my girl. Rihanna gets kind of jealous, you know. A vampire nest. You truly can find everything in the city. I'd better keep my throat protected. Gothic, decadent, vulgar. This place clearly had quite the influence on Astarian's <laughs> tastes. She just, she just fully dissed a starian. I love it. I love Mithera. She is just like, just calls it the way she sees it. Reminds me of me so much. <laughs> it's why I'm always getting in trouble at work. I go into meetings and my boss gives me a pre-brief. All right, please don't say anything <laughs> i just go well <laughs> how much is the ridiculousness in the circus level he's like it's a 10 out of 10 i'm like uh oh i'm like should i should i just like not show up or something <laughs> this is all so grand to think it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. Uh, of course not. It's not like he boasted about his secret lift, but it does make sense. He'd want somewhere grand for his ascension. This seems perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Good. 
Oh, I hear, I hear, I hear kids up ahead. <laughs> Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Let's see if this works. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. All right, gods, these poor people. Two, is there, is this how you used to live, Asterian? Three, Asterian, do you know these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me, and the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. That where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. He so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Uh-huh. Yeah, Rain, Rain is not the emotional sensitive type, so look at the symbols. They all have scars. Who is he? Is this how all of your lovers end up? Whatever this is, we don't have time for it. We're gonna go to number one. So Casador marked them too bound us all to his ritual. Gods, I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? One hundred and seventy years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me.
Uh, let's see, persuasion will set you free. Number two, stop whining. The only thing that matters is killing Kazadar. He's responsible for all of this. We need to go now. We're going to go number two. Stop whining. Nice. Kill him. That monster. You can't. It's not possible. All right, we'll find a way. Where is he now? Where is the key to your cell? Sit tight, we'll be right back. Where is he? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? What happens to us? Hmm. Well, we'll set you free. What else? That depends on you. Can you control your hunger? What do you what do you want to happen? I have no intention of freeing a bunch of ravenous spawn. Yeah. No. No, you can't leave us here. Not now, not like this. This nightmare never ends and it's your fault. You take this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! I damn you to misery! I damn you! Dang! God's above! He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots. <laughs> And the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. One, you can save them. Two, it is Kazadar's cruelty, not yours, to have them alive in this way. Don't think about them. Focus on yourself. And four, it's going to be glorious. You're almost worse than me. <laughs> Oh, that is so me right there. We're going to go number four. It's just sickening seeing them again. I don't know what else. Hey. Hey, you. Come closer. Oh, God. It can't be. It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you. Wow. All right, you're the children from the monster hunters camp. What's wrong with you? You'll do nothing of the sort. Asterians with me. Go number one. Ca camp. Monster hunters. Uh, the girl camp. Oh, God! My parents' camp! Uh, Chessa, focus! Resist the beast in inside you! Uh, you promised! 
It's your fault. You did this to us. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. Uh, I'll kill you! Uh, <laughs> yes. Now that you um, <coughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. Let's see. We promised their parents we'd save them. Two, if we eliminate Kazador, will they be free? If Kazador wants them, Kazador can have them. Let's go. Let's go number two. Uh, there's the pop of the ankle. We're good. I suppose there's a good chance they will. What use is it, though? They're lost. Ravenous. Feral. They'd attack any mortal on sight. All these people were... ruined because of me. Mm-hmm. All right, if Kazador wants them, then Kazador can have them. Let's go. I hope he finds you and drains you to a husk! Well, that could have gone better. Right? What do we do when that tall freak comes back? We'll be out of here in no time. I just want to breathe free air one last time. All right, let's do a five. Quick save here. All right. So we've been at this for over two hours, and this is a perfect place for us to stop for the evening. I appreciate everybody that's followed, everybody that's joined, my chatters, my lurkers, friends that come by and stuff. So hope everybody has a good Saturday night, and I will catch you again next Saturday, 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So have a good night all, and that is going to be a wrap.